Hello, everybody. Welcome to this special YouTube live. This is an exam booster. As you know, net, set, and gate exams have been announced. And you're all worried what to study, what are the questions that will be asked. So I thought I will do a five-day exam booster course telling you all the important topics. Welcome. Good evening. I'm so glad to meet all of you here. It is wonderful once again to do YouTube live. I will be do doing YouTube live, live regularly every two, three days now because I will teach you one day and then I will give you time to study. I'm looking at your messages. So shall we begin? More people will join us. Hello, Amma, Nitika, Gauri, Rajeshwari, Alia, everybody. Now I will share my screen. This is the PowerPoint that we have made on all the important topics. I'm fine, guys. Hello, Madhusudan, sir, Anna Kamachi, everybody. I thought I will just uh, tell you all the important topics for net, net gate and set exams. Okay? And today we are focusing on theater. There can be lots of questions from theater. So we'll cover all the major things quickly. First, let us talk about some theatrical movements and terms related to drama and theater. Before I go to the details, can some of you tell me in the chat box, what are the main theatrical movements that you know? Theatrical movements, theater of the absurd, then Maybe Commedia dell'art. Then you must have heard of theater of cruelty. Then there are lots of upper class theaters and working class theaters. Altaf, what did you comment? I didn't see it. You can comment now here. So let us talk about these theatrical movements. Shall we guys? First, there is Greco-Roman theater. The Greco-Roman theater is the theater of the classical masters, Aeschylus, Sophocles, Euripides, isn't it? In Greece and Rome, there was the amphitheater. What is an amphitheater? It is a big theater on the, uh, oh, in the open air. People would come and sit around it. And chorus will be acting. There will be not more than three actors in one scene. Don't you remember? And in the Greco-Roman theater, there will be a proscenium in the orchestra, in the middle of the stage, uh, in front of the audience, there will be a circular place called orchestra where there will be a proscenium. Isn't it? All of you know that. And in uh, the proscenium, there will be an altar for Dionysius also. Masks were used. 10 to 15 men formed the chorus. It will be wonderful if you can look up Greek or Roman theater because there can be some questions from there. Then there is the medieval theater. As you know, if Greco-Roman theater was founded on Dionysian festivals, medieval theater was founded on church festivals, Corpus Christi festival, Easter. Medieval theaters were makeshift theater. Permanent theater was not there. We know the mystery plays, morality plays, interludes, miracle plays first. First in the 12th century, miracle plays. Then mystery plays based on the scriptures. Then morality plays. They are allegorical plays. In between morality plays, there were the interludes. Isn't it, guys? And the medieval theater 
uh, uh, actually went over 1000 years even in the time of shakespeare there was medieval theater will you remember all that there were also passion plays passion plays you should watch this video two times okay so that you get all the points and you should read a little bit extra also then there is commedia dell'arte commedia dell'arte is a late medieval early renaissance theater commedia dell'arte is originated from italy commedia dell'arte is from italy and also uh, <clears throat> commedia dell'arte influenced shakespeare and a lot of writers okay guys commedia dell'arte is street theater okay commedia dell'arte is street theater and what happened in commedia dell'arte there was improvisation that means actually uh, dialogues were not written dialogues were improvised people would come on stage on, on the street and then make up their dialogues it was mostly vulgar also commedia dell'arte influenced shakespeare's um comedies and commedia dell'arte also used masks throughout europe it was there not only in italy there were masks that they wore there was some singing and dancing and uh, if you check out in google you will find a lot of pictures of commedia dell'arte exaggerated characters exaggerated humor did you understand everybody that is part of carnival there is a an element of carnivalesque in commedia dell'arte body street the b a w d y body street theater it is there is an element of the carnivalesque are you enjoying mock test i will give mock test i will give sneha ah kitchen sink theater of cruelty kitchen sink is also there yes renaissance theater and elizabethan theater both are there i will talk about it are you enjoying did you like the video guys like corona like 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 then uh, i will know okay let me continue talking to you about renaissance theater and elizabethan theater also renaissance theater somebody was asking me is renaissance theater and uh, elizabethan theater same बिल्कुल सेम नहीं है क्योंकि रेनेसांस थिएटर इज देयर अक्रॉस यूरोप एलिजेथन थिएटर इज देयर ओनली इन इंग्लैंड है ना रेनेसांस थिएटर इज आउटडोर थिएटर देयर वाज नो सीनरी देयर वाज नो कर्टन देयर वाज नो आर्टिफिशियल लाइटिंग एंड आल्सो परमानेंट थिएटर्स वर जस्ट कमिंग इनटू बीइंग play houses were just getting established there was leasters men that turned into lord chamberlain's men and strangers men then lord chamberlain's men then queen's men these are the acting troops associated with shakespeare the first permanent playhouse in renaissance theater is uh, the theater then black fly black friars globe before that rose curtain swan these are all theaters you should do a little bit of google search on uh, renaissance theaters and elizabethan theaters did you understand and which are the acting troops who are the major actors there will be questions based on this in lord chamberlain's men there was richard burbage and their clown was william kemp <coughs> in admirals men another acting company was admirals men in admirals men who was the actor the main actor was edward allen edward allen was the main actor in admirals men women were not there women actresses were not there you know so renaissance theater was very broad in the sense it accommodated all kinds of actors or oh, sorry act all kinds of audiences M many times the uh, king or queen would also be there there will be very low level people also low class people also will there ticket prices also varied very much you could also stand and watch in elizabethan theater it was high 
highly commercialized did you understand guys <clears throat> there is spanish golden age in theater have you heard of that i know you don't know much about it i also don't know one important uh, playwright in spain we should know that is calderon c a l d e r o n c a l d e r o n calderon is a very important name in theater he influ influenced english writers also did you understand guys calderon guys are you writing down all this i am not making youtube videos for entertainment i am seriously teaching you this is our free course isn't it all of you please attend all the exam booster videos i will make more videos like this for to help you and write down also okay guys so calderon will you remember spanish golden age theater will you remember calderon d la barca that is the full name of calderon calderon wrote plays in the spanish golden age and he influenced our english writers will you remember guys now calderon is over spanish golden age is over french classical theater of the 17th century french classical theater of the 17th century important figures in comedy moliere in tragedy who are the important figures in tragedy corneille and racine corneille and racine will you remember moliere is the most important comedy writer he was the father of comedy moliere and corneille and racine were important writers in tragedy corneille was the pen name of françois Ma sorry uh, jean baptiste poquillon corneille sorry uh, moliere moliere i made a mistake moliere was the pen name of jean baptiste poquillon i don't know exactly how it is written poquillon also uh, he wrote plays like the misanthrope the miser tartuffe will you remember guys and corneille wrote a lot of mythological and historical plays corneille's famous play is let see the racine also wrote and in corneille's plays he is making fun of the aristocracy in france let see the l e c i d very important then there is restoration theater everybody knows restoration theater is very important in the restoration theater there was a big change in theater what is that the big change in theater is that there are indoor stages outdoor stage nahi hota indoor stage and also picture frame stage is there picture frame stage will you read extra at least in wikipedia you should read okay and restoration theater is picture frame stage you can't show war and all that in restoration theater restoration theater is like indoor scenes bedroom scenes that is why english restoration stage has what english restoration stage has a lot of indecency a lot of luxuriousness indecency because only rich people would buy the tickets and sit there it was aristocratic theater restoration theater is aristocratic theater did you understand uh, rest, uh, elizabethan theater was more democratic did you understand everybody are you following me i want to see your messages i want to see if you are following you can message me then only i'll be able to understand will you all please like the video like karoge video ha ah, rakshida pointed out potato also pointed out what did you point out women actors started acting in restoration stage very very important women actors for the first time came in restoration stage and also you should look up who are the major women actors in england earliest women actresses they will ask one question about it
earliest women actresses in restoration stage. Will you remember, guys? Then neoclassical theater. Neoclassical theater is uh, not so famous. You know why? Neoclassical age is the age of prose and reason. Neoclassical theater is the age of prose and reason. Neoclassical theater is modeled on Greek theater only, largely. And lots of plays were there, actually. For example, Addison's Cato, Dryden's heroic drama. Dryden's heroic plays are Wild Gallant, Indian Emperor, Aurangzeb, isn't it? They are all famous. And all for love. Dryden's all for love. Uh, even Alexander Pope wrote one play, uh, Three Hours Before Marriage. That is a play written by Alexander Pope and friends. Restoration Theatre. Uh, and Restoration Theatre and rest, uh, Neoclassical Theatre were both influenced by French Theatre. Did you understand, guys? French Theatre. And uh, women were acting in uh, Neoclassical Theatre also. Then there is Romantic Theatre. Romanticism is not primarily about theater. It's about poetry, isn't it? Poetry. But romantic theater was also there. Romantic theater gave a lot of emphasis to uh, trauma, emotions, evil, romantic themes. Lots of people wrote uh, drama, actually. Wordsworth wrote Borderers. Uh, our uh, Coleridge wrote Remorse. Byron wrote a lot of plays starting from Manfred. Byron wrote a lot of plays starting from Manfred, isn't it? Then uh, there is Shelley who wrote many plays. Shelley's Prometheus Unbound, Hellas, Chenchi, very famous, isn't it? They're all, but their plays be, did not become very famous. In that period, in the Romantic period and Neoclassical period, a very famous dramatist was Goethe, G-O-E-T-H-E, -E, Goethe, Goethe's Gods of the Iron Hand, then Faust, these are very famous. Schiller wrote Wallenstein, a trilogy of plays. Schiller wrote Wallenstein, a trilogy of plays that was influenced, that was translated by Coleridge. Will you remember all this? They're all very, very important. The robbers. Don Carlos, all by Schiller. Okay, guys, are you tired looking at this slide? I will change the slide. Sorry. And now, 28th century Western theaters. You all have heard of Bertolt Brecht. Bertolt Brecht's epic theater is against the dramatic theater of Aristotle. Following me, everybody? Bertolt Brecht's epic theater is against the dramatic theater of Aristotle. In epic theater, you don't identify with the characters. In epic theater, there is were from Dung's effect. In epic theater, there is were from Dung's effect or alienation effect. Were from Dung's effect or alienation effect. Epic theater is very political. Epic theater is very political. Did you understand, guys? And it is influenced by Marxism, communism, Marxism and communism. Theatre of Cruelty. Theatre of Cruelty is, by, is led by Antonin Artaud. That is the main figure. Antonin Artaud, Frenchman, he wrote Theatre and its Double. Antonin Artaud wrote Theatre and its Double. Jean Genet, Grotowski, many important people were also there. Uh, theater of Cruelty. Theater of Cruelty is a surreal, is influenced by surrealism. There is a lot of uh, weird, unrealistic elements in Theater of Cruelty. Will you remember that, guys? Peter Brook is a very famous name in Theater of Cruelty. Now, there is Theater of the Absurd. Everybody knows Theater of the Absurd. We all know Eugene Ionesco, Samuel Beckett. We all know that the concept of absurd was discussed by who? Albert Camus in the myth of Sisyphus. Albert Camus in the myth of Sisyphus. And who wrote the book Theatre of the Absurd? It is Martin Eslin. 
Samuel Beckett, Eugene Ionesco, R. the Radamov, Jean Genet. These are important figures, isn't it? Theater of the Absurd. We all know End Game, uh, Happy Days, Waiting for Godot, all these plays by Samuel Beckett. Then Harold Pinter. Harold Pinter wrote Comedy of Menace. It is part of Theater of Absurd. Will you remember all this? You all know this, right? I am just reminding you. And which are the major works, other European works? Bald Soprano, Rhinoceros. Who wrote it? Ionesco. Ionesco wrote it, isn't it? And Albert Camus also wrote Caligula. Caligula is a, an absurd play. Will you remember all this, guys? Then there is expressionistic theater. Expressionism is a very important movement in German theater. And it spread to other uh, parts of the world. Even Eugene O'Neill, etc. wrote expressionistic drama. Isn't it? It originated in uh, Germany. What? How is expressionistic theater different? Expressionistic theater is very frightening. Fear is an important animal. Black and red colors like in Emperor Jones. Like in Emperor Jones, black and red colors. And expressionistic theater uh, shows uh, very striking sound and light designs. Uh, it has, what, what, I, what do you call it? Um, it has uh, frightening elements and elements of the subconscious. I just hesitated one minute because one important theater is missing here. I forgot. Realism and naturalism. Expressionism and then realism and naturalism. Yo, I forgot. Who is the main figure in realism and naturalism? None other than Henry Gibson. In expressionism, Strindberg is a very important figure. Expressionism, Strindberg, Miss Julie, the ghost sonata. Isn't it? And uh, realism, very important. Who introduced realism in drama? Henry Gibson, Norwegian playwright. And he also has naturalistic elements. Henry Gibson, naturalistic elements also are there in Henry Gibson's place. Then we have agit prop theater. Agit prop means agitation prop propaganda. It is a highly political theater. Agit prop theater is political theater. Waiting for lefty, have you heard? By Clifford Audets. That is Ajit Prop Theater. Ajit Prop Theater originated in Russia because of communism. Are you following me, guys? Are you loving this? Are you all answering the questions? I am so happy. Yeah, so many points you have all contributed. Breaking the fourth wall. So many you have contributed. Thank you so much. Very good. Shall I continue? I hope you are loving this. I will continue now. What is agit prop? I was saying agitation, propaganda, Russian origin and Clifford audits waiting for lefty. Dance drama is there. Who is a major figure in dance drama? Carol Churchill. Carol Churchill is a major figure in dance drama. He, she employs dance in drama. Carol Churchill, who wrote Top Girls, Soft Cops, Cloud Nine, Serious Money. Don't you remember everything, guys? These are all important. Carol Churchill, important. Then we have feminist theater. Feminist theater, so many. Carol Churchill in itself is a feminist uh, theater uh, person. Important feminist theater person. There are many theater groups of feminists, women's theater group, that is important. Uh, theater journals are important. Okay, you can check all these online. You should please read online. Will you do that? Now I am moving on to talk about important figures. Have you heard these names? They are all very famous. All these important figures you should remember, okay? Stanislavski, Konstantin Stanislavski. He was a Russian theater practitioner associated with, uh, you know, Ibsen. He was also a character actor. Stanislavski, will you remember? He was a theater director as well as actor. Konstantin Stanislavski. 
and uh, Stan- Stanislavski's system that is very famous. Have you heard of that? Stanislavski's system that is very famous. In It is a method of acting that he developed. Mayer Hold, he is also Russian. Mayer Hold is Russian and he was a director and theater producer. And uh, he did a lot of provocative things in theater. Will you remember? He d- developed provocative things. He was associated with Russian futurism also. Russian futurism also. Bertolt Brecht is, of course, a very important uh, modernist theater figure, theater practitioner. Modernist he is, uh, and also influenced by Marxism. What are the important plays by Bertolt Brecht? All of you know, I am sure. Uh, the Caucasian Chalk Circle, Mother Courage and Her Children, then uh, The Life of Galileo, Three Penny Opera. These are all important plays by Henry Ibsen, the good person of Shetswan. Will you remember? And then I have given some other very important terms here and names and terms. They might ask all this, okay? They are very, very important. Will you please? Uh, re- read extra and you, then you will become experts in theater. Will you do that? Uh, Grotowski, who uh, developed the concept of poor theater. Grotowski developed the concept of pr- poor theater. Grotowski is from Poland. Grotowski is a, a theater personality from Poland. He did acting and direction and uh, he changed the theater in so many ways. There is a famous book that he wrote towards a poor theater. It has an introduction by Peter Brook. Remember Peter Brook, okay? You have to look him up. Peter Brook. Associated with Grotowski and poor theater. Augusto Ball wrote, uh, created the theater of the oppressed. That is also very famous. He is from Brazil. Augusto Ball is from Brazil. He developed theater of the oppressed. That is a radical uh, theater that de- leads to education. You know, to liberate people. It is an educational theater. Have you heard of Dario Fo's popular theater? Dario Fo is an Italian. He's a very major writer in Italian. Dario Fo is a Nobel laureate. And Dario Fo developed popular theater. Are you uh, feeling bored? Am I boring you? He is a contemporary writer. He is from the post-war era. He got Nobel Prize only in 1997. Dario Fo. Then Eugenio Barba developed the concept of theater anthropology. Have you heard of that? Theater anthropology. He is also a man who is living today. Uh, he is alive now and he is a very important uh, figure in theater. He is from Denmark. Have you heard of postmodern writers of theater? There are so many, isn't it? For example, Luigi Pirandello. Luigi Pirandello who wrote Six Characters in Search of an Author, isn't it? Uh, her, uh, then um, uh, Luigi Pirandello has written other works also. Uh, all his works employ postmodern techniques. Postmodern techniques like there is no proper plot, there is no proper characterization, there is the use of pastiche, parody, etc. Characters are fragmented. All this happens in six characters in search of an author. And then there are musicals and operas. It should come in the previous slide, actually. Musicals and operas, they can ask a question. Which is the longest running musical in the world? It is Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. In London, it is running. Les Miserables. Musicals are drama, but full of acting and dance. Did you understand? Opera is mainly uh, uh, singing and dialogue also. Singing and dialogue will be there in opera. The performer in an opera is a classical singer. Did you understand? And Asian and African theatres also, you should please Google search because they are also sometimes important. Especially there are two Japanese theatre forms that influenced European and English writers. They are no and kabuki. Japanese no theatre and 
Kabuki Theater. They are very famous. Are you bored, guys? Let me see what you are chatting. Are you bored? Are you enjoying? Ha, ah, thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, I will now go on to I just continuing. I have more. Shall I continue? Uh, I am going poetic play, poetic drama is there. Kainat is pointing out. Thank you, Kainat. Poetic drama, I forgot to mention. Poetic drama, I should have mentioned. I oh, what is this? I should mention poetic drama also. We'll make it complete. Poetic drama and closet drama. Poetic drama and closet drama. Who are the main figures in poetic drama? T.S. Eliot, sorry, uh, Tennyson first, uh, W.B. Yeats, Christopher Fry, T.S. Eliot, W.H. Arden. So many people who wrote poetic drama. Poetic drama that is meant only for reading is called closet drama. Closet drama is poetic drama meant only for reading. Now, Yo, some terms related to drama. Have you heard of corporeal mime? It is part of physical theater. Physical theater and drama is inside the body. Drama is inside the body. Corporeal mime. Did you understand? It is like dancing. It is very interesting. Have you heard of that? You should read extra about it. Will you do that? Now, mama's play. Have you heard of that one? Mama's play, it is a kind of fog drama. Fog drama performed by amateur actors. Oh, yo, I forgot to say mask. That is the first thing we should say. Mask means kya hai? Mask is amateur theatrical performance happening in court. Amateur theatrical performance happening in court. That is mask. Oh my God, what is uh, catastasis? It is a word for catastrophe. Catastasis is a part of drama where the catastrophe begins. Like that parts of drama you should st study. Okay, parts of Greek tragedy you might be asked about. Now, Indian theater. Ta -da -da. Indian theater. We'll talk about playwrights, subgenres, Sanskrit theater. Thodasa, will you? Are you tired? I hope you're not. Who are the major Sanskrit dramatists? Kalidasa, Bhavabhuti, Emperor Harsha. Emperor ka na, uh, spelling dekho. Emperor. Emperor Harsha. Have you heard of these names? Of course we have heard. Kalidasa wrote Malavikagnimitram. It is good if you read summaries. My father has written a book of stories of all these books. Malavikagnimitram. Then Vikramorvashiyam. Vikramorvashiyam. Spelling is wrong. <laughs> I typed fast. Vikramor. Vashiyam, Vikram or Vashiyam. Then Abhitnana Shakundalam. Did you know, guys, Abhitnana Shakundalam influenced Goethe's Faust? Seriously. And Abhitnana Shakundalam was translated by William Jones. Then there is Bhavabhudi. Have you heard of Bhavabhudi? Bhavabhudi was an 8th century scholar. He wrote works that are equal to Kalidasa's. And he was born in Maharashtra or Madhya Pradesh border, it must be. Malati Madhavam. Yo, ma, again spelling mistake. Sorry, guys. I typed in a hurry. Malati Madhavam. Uttara Ramacharidam. These are important works of Bhavabhudi. Will you remember? He was a court poet and emperor Harsha. He wrote Ratnavali. He was an emperor. Of the Pushya Bhuti uh, kingdom. Pushya Bhuti kingdom he was. Wow. Have you heard of that? And uh, he wrote works. Did you know that? When did he find time? I don't know. Uh, and Harsha was defeated by Emperor Pulakeshin. 
of Chalukya dynasty. Anyway, this Harsha wrote Ratnavali and Priyadarshika. I have just put some important names here. Okay. Then Indian theatrical forms. Kudi, Atam and Kathagali are from Kerala. Bhavai. These are all folk and indigenous theatrical forms. Uh, folk forms and indigenous theatrical forms. Kudi, Atam and Kathagali. Bhavai is from Gujarat. Bhavona and Ankiya Nads are from Assam. I just found out all this. It will be good if you know a little bit. Jatra is from Bengal. Swang is from uh, Sang or Swang. Both you can say. Haryana. Sang. That is the uh, word from Haryana, UPMP. And Yakshagana from Karnataka. Remember, Yakshagana was influential on Girish Karnad. Yakshagana influenced Girish Karnad. Will you remember that? So many art forms, theatrical forms. Now, major playwrights. You know all these playwrights. Badal Sarkar, who was uh, the man initiate, who associated with third theater, isn't it? Badal Sarkar, third theater. He, was asso he wrote anti-establishment plays uh, during the Naxalite movement. Abam Indrajit, that is a very important play by Badal Sarkar. It is like an absurd play, okay? Third theater he created. And it's a very egalitarian, democratic theater. Hena? Now, Vijay Tendulkar, everybody knows. Vijay Tendulkar is our uh, Marathi author who wrote uh, Ghashiram Kotwal, then uh, Shantata Court Chalu Ahe, or Silence the Court is in Session, Sakharam Binder, very, very important place. And Girish Karnad also, he was an actor, playwright. He's associated with what is called Theatre of Roots. Did you hear of that? Theatre of Roots. And Girish Karnad got Nyan Peed Award, isn't it? Nyan Peed Award. All of us know his important plays. Uh, Yayati, Tuglak, uh, then Hayavadana, Nagamandala, Tale Danda, then... Um, flowers then uh, the, then we have uh, the dreams of the tipu sultan fire and the rain so many uh, plays he has written many of these are uh, you know very very important will you look up girish karnad guys and then there is our dharamveer bharati dharamveer Bhar bharati was a very important hindi poet and uh, also playwright Hindi poet and playwright, he also wrote novels. And his Andha Yug is always prescribed in universities. Dharamvir Bharati's Andha Yug, you should definitely look up. Mahesh Dattani is a very important writer. Mahesh Dattani wrote lots of plays on gender themes. He got Sahitya Academy Award for Final Solutions and other plays. Many of his plays have also become movies. Which are his important plays where there is a will, dance like a man, bravely fought the queen, final solutions, then Tara, then uh, 30 days in September, then he wrote um, seven steps round the fire. He wrote about lots of gender issues, isn't it? Very, very important. Brief candle about cancer. So... Uh, Mahesh Datani, you should sit down and read and study. Very, very important. Are it is Shakespeare studies in theater. Shakespeare studies is there. Shakespeare film adaptations are there. Shakespeare retellings are there. Wow. So many adaptations. There is a Wikipedia entry on list of William Shakespeare screen adaptations. If you look that up, you will get everything. List of William Shakespeare screen adaptations. So many are there, guys. So many are there. And also so many retellings. Uh, Rosengrantz and Guildenstern are dead by Tom Stoppard. Everybody knows is based on Hamlet. Then A Thousand Acres by Jane Smiley. Will you look it up, guys? Hag Seed by Margaret Atwood is important. Hag Seed by Margaret Atwood. 
then uh, then there is um, Gertrude and Claudius by John Updike. The Gap of Time by Janet Winderson. Are you taking down everybody? Shylock is My Name by Howard Jacobson. Jacobson. These are all very famous writers, isn't it? Dunbar by Edward St. Aubin. So many important works. Have you written down all this? Terry Pratchett also wrote Lords and Ladies. He is important. Oh, so Tracy Chevalier wrote New Boy. They are all very, very famous contemporary writers. I hope you have to, taken down everything. Otherwise, watch the video again and make notes. Okay. Now, I have given some uh, Bollywood ad adaptations here. You will also know more. Aan is Taming of the Shrew. Bobby is Romeo and Juliet. Angur is Machinu about nothing. Makbul is Macbeth. Haider is Hamlet. These are some famous Bollywood adaptations. Pura nahi hai, just some famous Hollywood, Bollywood adaptations. Bollywood movies. Uh, there are, you can search for it. Uh, seven Bollywood movies based on Shakespeare's plays. Aisa ek article hai Indian Express mein. Seven Bollywood movies based on Shakespeare's plays. You can read it. Okay, guys, that is the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, what are you telling me? Send me your messages so that I can know how you are doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Akira Kurosawa ran. Yes, yes. Uh, King Lear, Thousand Acres. Correct. Akira Kurosawa's ran and also... Uh, Throne of Blood, both by Akira Kurosawa. Very good. Ah, on a muggy night in Mumbai, I didn't mention. That is right. Kainat, thank you. So, tell me something. Will you uh, talk to me? I am uh, waiting to know. Did you enjoy? Thank you so much. Thank you from me too. Is it Kainat? Thank you. Okay, not said it is a wonderful session. So that's all for today. All the best. I will be back in two days with another topic, exam booster video. Until then, bye bye. Good night. I am ending the session, and I will be 